Yo, what's up, everyone? So we just got into a buy for gold. I'm actually pretty worried that this is going to go down hit stop loss because of the symmetry. So you see there's a spike right here. So there could possibly be a spike right here. So it could come down here before continuing its move up. That's the only thing I'm worried about. Uh, but other than that, it seems like a pretty good setup where we could go up here by 93 pips. So the take profits, 93 pips. The stop loss is 34 pips. So we'll just have to see what happens. Uh, we do see bearish divergence there. So that's also why I'm kind of worried. So this is a bit of a riskier trade, but as you guys know, anything can happen because we still see bullish divergence here. So let's see. Oh man, this one's gonna hit my stop. If this breaks above this price, right here if it breaks above uh 1494 then that's a good sign it's going to keep on pushing up but if it doesn't then it's just going to fall down to my stop loss and yeah i just placed this trade like five minutes ago so it's a brand new trade See here, the two trades we're in right now. We're in a sell for USD Japanese yen, and we're in a buy for gold. So let's go ahead and check that out. So for UJ, here's UJ. So take profits down here. That's going to be uh, about 186 pips. So I'll make about $174, assuming it's uh, successful. And for gold, well, damn, there we go. <laughs> there we go. All right. So if gold spiking up, that means UJ is going to keep falling down. So what I'm going to do is, okay, buddy, let's set the stop loss to break even. Uh, VIP members are going to get stop loss at break even too. 1492.82. Okay, there we go. Stop loss is officially at break even. There we go. So we're doing break even because uh, that's basically halfway to the to the 90 pip mark. So whatever happens from here, we are fine. Uh, remember, the goal is to become a break even trader. Like I said in the previous video, if you're a break even trader, it doesn't matter if all your trades hit break even. It's better to break even than break a loss. All right. So better to break even than hit a loss. I'm just deleting all my MetaTrader notifications I get uh, because the indicators that I have, uh, I get so many notifications and my phone always has a bunch of red circles on the MetaTrader 4 app. It drives me crazy. So <clears throat> how's, um, how's everyone's quarantine and chill, huh? <laughs> my buddy said, hey, Justin, you want to quarantine and trade? <laughs> I just found that pretty funny, so. I mean, that's pretty much the life of a trader. You quarantine yourself and you trade. <laughs> so, all right, we're up 50 pips on this. Oh, man, can we hit 90 pips? Come on, let's hit 90 pips. Let's hit it. Let's hit it. Let's hit it. Come on. I got stuff to do today. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. I have places to be, you know. I just wanted to make this video because I was expecting this breakout. I just wasn't sure if it was going to break out at this zone or if it was going to fall down to this level. Because remember what I always say, things happen symmetrical. So if you draw a line down the middle, usually it's going to do the same thing if you fold it. So if you draw a line down the middle of a square and if you fold it in half, it looks exactly the same. And that's what's happening right here, right? So you draw a line down the middle right here. And this is why I got into the buy because I was expecting it to spike up. All right. Okay. And boom, there we go. That's how you do it. So we just 
caught how many i'm surprised uj hasn't fallen yet um how many pips was that let's scroll down and let's look that was uh yeah that was like 93 pips so it made about 93 dollars on that one so yeah there we go cool yeah this is my uh this is my us 30 account so uh usd japanese yen this should be falling it should be falling right now i don't know why it hasn't but oh well that was it uh how long was that video we caught like 90 something pips in what five minutes five five or less minutes so that's it that's how it's done and that was a pretty simple trade for me it was just based on symmetry in the market so i look for specific patterns i look for specific shapes uh v formations w formations right and if i see something about to form a specific pattern i get into that trade so not every trade is just divergence Again, five years of experience trading, you pull out your computer, you look at the charts, you look at different patterns. And if you see a pattern about to form, take the chance, take the risk, place the trade, have a good stop loss, good take profit, and boom, there you go. So that's it. Take care. See you next video. Bye-bye.